There we go. Oh, hey everyone, oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be as a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome yeah, back to... <laughs> nope. And welcome back to Alien Isolation, where... Yeah, last time we stirred up a fucking whole nest of the fuckers. So, yeah. yeah. So that probably is a queen. Also this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Morlo kind of is trying to, well, nuke everything. And we want to not nuke everything. Okay. You're doing good, Chandler. Now switch the maintenance terminal from auto to manual. Do you see it? It'll be there, Taylor. Trust me. That's it. They'd rather not nuke everything with us still in it. Uh, that one and that one, okay. And yeah, if you take too long here, uh, yeah, you get to see what a fusion reaction going off in your face looks like. <laughs> Yeah, don't think those heat sinks are going to ever work again. Hey. You might want to run. Look. And, uh, yeah, let's run. <laughs> she probably got hit with like a billion volts there. So, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure you could, in a split second, you, um, you could see her freaking skeleton. So, yeah. Ooh, not that way. Oh, great. Gravity failed. Ow. Or not. Uh, okay. Well, if there's one thing I can say about Marlow, it's that at least he keeps a backup plan. Holy. Okay, gotta okay, make it to the damn ambulance before we need one. But you might want to rush a bit more than that, Ripley. <sighs> yep, again that. Ricardo. Great. Uh, there, there. Hello, Sebastopol. Can you respond? We just saw a ship blow on your starboard side. Took out an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please, tell us what's going on in there. We, we can take survivors. I'll leave this channel open. Torrent's out. Okay, so we can still receive, just not send. Right. Okay. And yeah, it actually does cool over time on that. And wait, haven't we been here? Ooh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've been here. Oh, great. 
Now instead of having to deal with uh, with desperate civilians, we have to deal with desperate security. Okay. I get this British, but it's desperate they rather not to accept an open hand or have to just rather grab the hand, throw away the helper and steal the ship for love of. Yep. Who was that? Okay, that bison must really fuck with their vision. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they know not well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. At least if you walk away, they won't immediately open fire. But yeah, they probably know how the how the xenomorphs multiply, so they're not going to take any chances with anyone they don't know. Okay. Including. Someone who has there. not been the station. Yeah, someone they don't know, especially. Since, well, Amanda isn't from the station. Oh, I meant the, the ones on the ship. Yeah, those they'll, uh, those, those they'll just try to uh, force out. Or just force to, well, <laughs> comply to their demands. Uh... Let's see. I'm guessing a stun baton should work on them. Ah. Okay, surprisingly well. Okay. There's at least two others left then. Oh, there they are. Hmm. I I wonder if those masks will will shield their eyes from flashbangs. Let's see. That one from exactly? minus scrapnel. Oh, <laughs> I thought we had to be in here to do something, but no, we need to get around them. Weren't they both here just a second? Ago? Oh, uh, one of them's having a bit of an episode. Yep. Yep. Really? I was leaving you be for the moment, motherfucker. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Try and shoot me through bulletproof glass? I hope bulletproof glass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not bulletproof. It's not bulletproof. A uh, mother. F how many? How many of them are there? And I'm honestly surprised that shop didn't draw one of the xenomorphs in. Again, they are probably rampaging across every part of the. Uh, really? Yeah, I've got a button for you. It's the off switch. Okay, uh, med kit. There. I'm sure they're gonna be attracting the xenomorphs, since. Yeah, we may go to the middle of the nest. Over there. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we got rid of the nest, but not the inhabitants. Uh, come yeah. on! I, <laughs> I also uh, mentioned that part before we got really got interrupted by uh, Wingus and Dingus. Ricardo. Okay. Ricardo. At least now I know I need to just sneak by. I've got plenty of noisemakers. Hello, Sebastopol. Can you respond? We just saw a ship blow on 
your starboard side took out an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please, tell us what's going on in there. We, we can take survivors. I'll leave this channel open. Torrens out. Yeah, during during this entire thing, they've just been stuck up there, having to wonder what the hell's been going on all over the place in here. Yeah, while doing their own repairs. You've got company. Seats and security just came through. Guns in hand, not friendly. I had to hide under a desk. What do they want? The Torrens. They heard the broadcast. They want to contact it. I think we plan on taking it by force. Can they? No. Bombs are still out. Up, and I just realized they're Sikhs in security, not the marshals. Because I was going, I was about to ask, aren't you one? Aren't they? Aren't you with them? But no, they're Sikhs in specific security, not the marshals, who are more global. Right on the thigh. Yeah, better than a bit more to the left. Still a very painful area you have to get stung on. Yeah, and I speak from experience since I got stung in the inner thigh by a fucking jellyfish once. Yeah, I got hurt around that area, but not from a jellyfish. More of someone... Drove badly and made me drop into an electric box while I was riding a bike, and I... How? Yeah. I didn't hurt my groin lucky enough, but it did hurt the, the inner thigh. It did hurt a lot. But I did almost fall face first into a thorn bush. Let's turn those lights off. And people wonder how I did that landing thorn bush? The lamp electric box I ran into. I was a kid. So I was not tall enough to just fly over it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, we actually need to screw with this. Or is this oh just God. to get... Uh, that did remind me. I, I there, once crushed there. into a tree while uh, driving a snow racer. Okay. And I did fly forward and hit my groin into the steering wheel. Oop. Okay, I think that just opened some doors. Who's that? Nobody. So they, they really dealt with the Joes here. Forget it, we're good. Wait. Hail, do not approach the body. What? Oh. Yeah, well, they can't mind. work without their heads. Uh depends on the model. I guess okay. these low body ones can't. I think I just heard a Joe or something. Like you, one of the the subtitled lines. You don't. You're not supposed to be here. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, more calls to Apollo. Okay. I just want to ambush this guy if he gets close again. There is a second one. Uh, I am going the right way. Yes, I need to get across here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah, that, that definitely. Yeah, that sounds like a working Joe somewhere. Oh, there, two of them together. Leaving. Okay. Yeah, they are pretty generous with the amount of time it takes to spot us. But on the higher difficulties, I presume that if they as much as catch line of sight of you, that they spot you. Okay. And to be honest, we've had many a close call. Uh, come on. Come on. We've had many a close call where we should have been spotted. Yeah, many times 
in a ridiculous manner. <laughs> Is this a glitch? Okay, what? back down then. Let me try that again, just to be extra sure. Yeah, that... That's glitched. Or... Oh, I... I think I see what's going on. That's supposed to cover this. But... It's not on the right... It's not on the right way. Uh, we might have actually cut that open before and it just... Glitched or something. Oh dear. Uh, either way, let's just try and sneak around then. Yeah, looking the other way. He got a look, but he was. He didn't. He caught sight of us for a second, but not long enough to actually see us. Oh! And yeah, I think we have been here before. In this, I think this is about the third time that we visited this very same room. And. I a part of me wants to throw a Molotov cocktail at these guys, but the other half of me knows that they're basically only acting like this out of desperation. There. Thank you. With the speaker system on, we... Uh, I hope they won't be able to hear us as well. Human employee recreation. Does that mean that they have Android employee recreation? Probably not. Okay, finally. Oh, uh, hello there. Can I... I did not actually expect that to work. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, up there. Okay, he's just a few cor He's just a few doors down. Okay. Now the lights come on. You go. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. What happened? If we had the coordinates for the torrent, we could align the transmitter dishes manually, bypass Apollo completely. There's an observatory near the comms array, right? Yeah. You should be able to find the torrent coordinates using that. I'm getting the door for you. Okay, so now we can get through here. I I used a stun pro uh, baton. I, I used the stun baton on a camera, and it actually fried it. I didn't expect that to, to actually work. See that connects there, but that's blocked from the looks of it. All right, uh, is it blocked? From, it's locked in general. Just gonna give you a heads up so you don't get jump scared. A green man, a green Canadian is soon joining us. Okay. I feel you know who that is. Yes. Glacier boy. <laughs> no, Durban. No! <laughs> yes, Durban. <laughs> I don't it... blame you for seeing Glacier boy sense, but the, I think there are glaciers in Canada. Uh, wait, is that what I think it is? The signboard? Cup of Joes. <laughs> uh, I have to say, I'm partially surprised that they didn't have, they didn't put advertising on the freaking androids. Uh, 
yeah, we have been here. Actually, have no, we haven't. So. Actually, yeah, I think yeah, we have been through here, but not. Sp We've been through here, but not specifically to here. There's two with guns. Okay, we need to go to the other side. So with some luck, we can just avoid these jackasses. Yeah, last time this place was filled with working Joes. Hello, hello. Hello there. Hello, welcome, Derby. What's that? Motions of. Wait, what? What's that? Uh, I would say motions have landed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Looks like my frame rate's doing a little better. Yesterday okay. was a little bit janky when I was on the stream last time. Actually, not yesterday. I should say, but you get it. Yeah, last time. Yeah, yeah, my frame rate has been extremely well since we upgraded our internet. It happens now and then on rare occasion. There's a bit of a jump. Yeah. But it works damn well with this game since... Oh, here's the thing. It was a lag fest most of the free when we played the, the Doom games. Oh, yeah. The newer ones. Here we go. I still have yet, I still have yet to try the Doom games. Yeah, they're good. Okay. I don't play oh. them, but I watch them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably a little harder than I'd like, but still. <laughs> uh... Looks like a new hacking challenge that I didn't see yet. There, I think that. Yeah, that did. Nope. Yeah. Uh. I, what, what am I supposed to do with this one? Like, wait until they're all in the circle or... Oh, the circles need to align. I, there we go. Okay. That's definitely new. Makes sense that, well, this needs more specific hacking, since it's a very specific system. Yeah. Also, hello, giant big ball of death. <laughs> Please, for it to be that big, you must be really close. Yeah, that, the gas giant must be close, then. Yeah, we, we are in its freaking orbit. There. Thank God. Ricardo. I don't think Gassius would form that close to a star. Yeah, I don't think I think so. they're supposed to be more on the outer lines or something. Huh. That's why that gas giant is very small, or... Yeah, there's something else going on. Yeah, it might have gotten knocked into orbits from another one. Seems a little too close to be an extrasolar capture or whatever it is when the planet comes into the system. Yeah. And reminds me, apparently, I don't know. But I want to say is, I don't know if we still have it, but we may have had or temporarily still do have a temporarily new moon around Earth. No. Yeah, some asteroid has started orbiting uh, the Earth. I forgot to watch the rest of the video. Yeah, so basically there's a corpse uh, just doing laps around the planet or something like that. Yeah, as I said, temporarily new moon. That's worrisome. Well, it's probably not going to stay, hopefully. Okay, time to get dressed. 
the command literally says change, not put on suit, change. Okay, that, that, I, I was just about to say that's taking on, that's going on a bit long. Yeah. Okay. Oh, time to go on a spacewalk. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure probably the fact that we did see properly, if I only was like the preview thingy, like uh, 46 minutes, no, 46 seconds. <laughs> But like it's already hasn't fallen been falling well, falling apart but also okay, I, I like I like the effects at the edges here like the double reflection or the reflection whatever you would call that yeah yeah either way that's time to phone home uh, I think I saw it. whoops So these are Jeez, quite that... some dishes. Yeah. That is a huge freaking star. Jesus. It... Uh... Shouldn't it be falling the other way since gravity or... Or maybe eh. it's just got blown off and going towards the sun. I think we're going to need a lot of milk and a lot of cereal for that bottle. <laughs> This way. Just hit the big red button. Okay, we are going to have such a story to tell to the captain after we're done with all this bullshit. Don't rush me. I'm walking around with a suit that weighs like 200 kilograms or something. Yeah. I'm pretty sure rushing is not even a freaking option with how slow these things move. Yeah, and you probably even have special boost to make sure you're attached to the damn floor. Yeah. yeah. There's probably something in the boots that ensures... Uh, Something in the boots that ensures. Hello, <laughs> thank you for the follow, Maybeth. <laughs> if I read that right, uh, emergency clamp. Where? Where's the? Oh, there's the power. Hello and welcome. Think... Hello, hello. There we go. <laughs> thank you for the follow, and I hope you enjoyed the show. There we go. Okay. Where were you going on that? Please. I supposed to do something more here. Actually. Yeah, no, there we go. Oh, it's just okay. slow. Emergency clamp. There we go. And another one. And another one. Also, I like how there's actually two microphones in this thing in case one of them... <laughs> in case one of them dies. Yeah. I, would okay. that. I would expect that or the whole headset to be built right into the entire helmet, basically. So the thing is now loose and powered. Uh, yeah, seeing as the thing has done... Oh. Okay, I thought it was just going to keep spinning until we punched in the actual coordinates somewhere. Yeah, oh, which I presume, someone written something yeah. in chat? Uh, let's see, love your stream, that's why I decided to follow. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. And, yep. I, th I get the feeling we may be able to finish the game today. If we're on well, if we're lucky, I almost said unlucky. Okay. I 
I get the feeling I was supposed to punch in the coordinates first and then do the clamps. Yeah, uh, I should say this. We do have a game. We realized we had forgotten months ago. We plan to have uh, streamed uh, in, during Spooktober. Yeah, and that was to finish Bridge, or rather the the second and last DLC. Uh, let's see. Thirty-five. I hope that's on this one and not the other one. Uh, There. Okay, the other one, 70. Okay. This one's taking quite a bit longer. Yep, this, this, is, this is... This is this 360, not the height. This is the angle, not the pitch. About there, I think. Okay. There we go. I don't have many channels we can channel with this. <laughs> there, this the, actually the with how old the tech in this is, we I think it might have difficulty ha uh, hitting the Twitch upload rate. Yeah. I was actually just gonna say, compared to like you know, Mass Effect, even though it's like 30 some years is behind only, it looks like it's several decades behind, if not several centuries behind. Okay. Also, that little, that there for a moment that that was a bit of debris impacting and actually heating up <laughs> the platform a bit there. It's nice little geez. detail. That's just a lot. That's just a lot in this game. Huh? Nice little details. Yeah. Yeah. And from a little crazy, simply very good at that. <laughs> Okay, now we just get a head back inside. And okay, yeah, now we are getting showered with debris. <laughs> Luckily, it's only small bits. As well, if it, um, honestly speaking, though, any of these bits of this size would probably just punch clean through uh, a visor. Yeah. If, if uh, flying at the correct speed. Oh, let's see. Uh, they're asking us, uh, how's your stream going? Pretty well, I'd say. Pretty well so far. Only one death on this team so far. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the death was on the previous, at the, at the end of the previous stream. There hasn't been one yet. Uh... <laughs> There was a one at the beginning oh, of the good. stream, Captain. Yeah, getting gunned down. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that for a moment. Okay. No death from coming in hot on the... <laughs> where you continued off. Uh, but they survived that. But they... they uh, but they... Uh, wingers and dingers ambushed the Captain while they were uh, fiddling with a... Uh, monitor thingy. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I probably should have hidden longer before messing with that. Okay, save, so we don't have to do that again. As accurate as it is, it does take for freaking ever. Uh, main objective of this game? Survive! Oh, great. Something cut off a signal. Yeah, yeah, our main objective at the moment is to get the hell off this hellhole of a station. Which is, well, infested with deadly aliens and... Oh, crap, we're locked. 
When you speak of the troll, they have emerged from the woods and below the bridges. A living person. Okay, I, I actually thought it's open. I actually thought it busted open to uh, vacuum. Uh, you're aliens. And yeah, and the alien alien. avoid that thing. <laughs> but honestly speaking, I, we should have expected these bastards to pop up again. Okay. Christ, they can see you. I pray we be, be blessed to not run into the queen. <laughs> and they're storming off exactly where we need. To. Actually, do we need to be there or where do we need to be? Uh, Oh, back to, back to Ricardo the exact same way as uh, they well, went, not going out, you know. And regarding Drakir's comment, I think if the Queen was coming, the place would be getting ripped apart from its movement. <laughs> Possibly. Gotta keep in mind that this, these bastards can get into the vents, so... Just need to find a safe spot to... So be very quiet. <laughs> Thank you for the mental image, Dury. <laughs> Glad to help. And I have an okay. image of the Edis dressed up as what's his name again? Elmer Mud? Hey, what? <laughs> Elmer Fudd, uh, you mean? Uh, Fudd, probably. Uh, the one that uh, hunts uh, Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Elmer uh, Fudd. Fudd. Yeah, t l tall hat on all that. It probably will fit these guys' heads. <laughs> uh, noise maker, go make noise. I'm hunky human. Second there, I was like, "What the heck is this trick you're talking about?" <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I thought his name was Elver Mud. <laughs> okay, making a run. There. Oh, no, okay, I was half expecting to be running at me. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna ask. Says beyond lunatics. What's the name of the damn short cowboy with giant mustache? Yosemite Sam. Something like that. Yosemite Sam. Yeah, Yosemite. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a bit of a name. unique name. Had he just been Sam? Then I probably would have remembered Yosemite Sam. <laughs> That uh, sounds like something big, so bit, let's uh, pull a Pink Panther and exit stage right, or Ricardo. step, step, oh. fuck. Uh oh Ricardo. Oh no. Well, that's well, not Well, at this point it's probably... Mm. At this point it's probably a mercy to try and kill him if we can. Yeah, for... Yeah, we probably don't, we don't even have the, the... Yeah, they probably don't even have the equipment yet to do... Remove a chest burster. Yeah. And yes, I, as I say this week again. Why do you have a face hugger you? You can't remove it. Only thing yes. you can remove a face hugger is when it's inside your chest already. And we then... Low odds. Yeah, yeah, since if, if the face hugger is still alive, it'll choke out its victim if it's tried to remove, and well, if you try to cut it off, well, acid bloods. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the better thing to do is to just shoot the person in the chest. If you have no, uh, pro uh, proper surgery and all that, then yes. But if you do have the instruments and skilled surgeon to do it, 
then you have at least a chance to see them after the damn thing drops off the face. Mm -hmm. Lucky it was looking the other way. I think me I think we might be dealing with warriors instead of drones now, since they sound a lot more aggressive. I think I'll notice you. I think they used the alien! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> also, my Elmer Fudd impression was <laughs> my better joke today. Wait, but not you. Intentional. Wait, you did an impression? Well, that one that you said that I did was not my first in his joke today. <laughs> uh, wait, I've been going to Jack. I think, I, think uh, I missed your impressionation. Says I want to mention that you made me uh, think of uh, that character. Yeah, that's why I said it was unintentional one. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. One of the better ones. But um, yeah, I still. Bloody. I wouldn't be surprised if someone has uh, made a fan out of that. Yeah. Out of my two jokes today, though, that was certainly the better one. Just... Oh, the other one, I was you. talking with some guildmates, and it's like, oh, Jesus, that was, that was the most terrible joke I just did during Guild Wars. Oh, dear. I do not dare to ask. Well, I'll actually say it anyway, because it was like, I was playing mad king says and mad king thorn said display a little respect before you lose your head <laughs> all right it's that, few, it's that time again in guild wars yeah a few players fucked up at that one so i was just like well he was clearly a head ahead of them yep, but the park. well of course oh jeez yeah. Wait, that one was a different color. Yeah. And, wait. In the meantime, the the torch sound continues. Wait, what kind of scene morph did we get attacked by? Uh, I am. Uh, I think. I I think I think it's warriors now instead of normal drones. Yeah. Just the one that attacked you might not been a warrior. With how sneaky that thing was, if they had had some kind of rogue type one, I would have said that. <laughs> the reason I say this is because it was white, grayish white. <laughs> okay, just going to bust in. Yeah, I. Th I'm I'm guessing it busted in from the outside, which is causing that moment of decompression before something. <sighs> Motherfucker! Before something sealed in uh, sealed automatically. Oh, that's the one. I think. Yeah, yeah, this one looks a bit. I think I know. They not fully grown yet. Okay, that also explains a thing or two. Also, flamethrower. And to finally answer your question, uh, Maybet, we've been at this for about three years. Still a surprise to myself. And just in case, uh, to preempt any... any pre yeah. Yeah, preempt anything. If you're going to try and uh, advertise uh, uh, yourself as an artist, don't. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not uh, looking for people to commission. Or... Yeah, as you probably just see that they been having a lot of people to do that. So please forgive Captain's uh, cautiousness. Yeah. 
And yeah, I've, I've just I've just grown completely tired of uh, people coming into the chat just to advertise themselves. That way. Okay. Play in ninja mode and see if we can avoid that thing. It's in the hallway there at the moment. Those steps, Jesus. Stomping around like a, it's a bloody go old guards. Oh, jeez. I mean, I don't know. Have you ever seen Stargate, uh, Derby? A little bit. I wasn't Stalking. too into it. I wasn't too into Stargate really ever. I recommend it. That pisses is off, uh, it off for a moment. And... That doesn't sound like a normal alien noise. Uh, but yeah, what, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure what to call it, but one funny thing about the Google guards is that they tend to stomp so fucking hard when they are patrolling around. Like bonk, 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 bonk. Also, that kind of bonking. And. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oop. Okay, it must have been screwing around in the side room there or something. It just went into the vents. And yeah, we, uh, we've been at this for about three years. Uh, Three years, but if you're look, oh, that's the music. If you're looking to advertise uh, for, uh, yeah, graphics work or such, uh, please don't, because ooh, I am just not looking to commission anything from anyone. Ooh. What? Oh, was that the door just closed? That must have been the door closing. Like there, there is, there, there, I've already got something active going with someone, and I do plan to. Uh, yeah, for a moment, I get confused about the sparks. There, there is a friend of mine that I do plan to uh, commission for a bit of artwork, but only them. Like. Basically, the only people I would uh, commission for artwork and such are people that I, uh, well, know and trust. Okay. Oh, wait, that room is a mess. Okay, where is Greg? There's Greg. Yep. It's muted. Oh. That one look bigger. Maybe it was just the darkness that made it look bigger, but potentially. Could be. And hopefully the guy, hopefully the guy was taking a shot at the alien and not me. It's... <laughs> yeah, that room. The... I should hope the humans know better by now if there's any left. So where the heck this this just leads back? So opening that is a waste of time. E Ooh. Did it see you? I'm not sure. I've got something. Uh, Derby, protect the captain. <laughs> I can certainly try. Ooh, that thing is looking for you. You can look at that. The fucker. Oh, jeez. Still alive. Uh, run, run, run. 
Also, that. Wish you could move and do that, but I will. Low layer, friend. Get out of here. <laughs> is this. Is right. that. Yeah. Almost ran into the fucker, but this time at least I have the flamethrower ready. That was a lot scary. That was almost jump scare. Wait, what? Oh, him running into it, it was almost a jump scare, I think. Uh, oh. Because from what I could tell, it looked like they both rounded the corner at the same time, coming towards each other. Oh dear, and part of another people. Okay, got half of a fuel cell left. I need more fuel. Yep. Come on. Idiot. We're starting to run low on fuel here. It doesn't fit the theme of the game entirely, but some Metallica would be perfect right now. <laughs> A little fuel. If I try to use that thing, he's just going to get me impaled. Uh, oh, hello no. there. This is the perfect time for do you want to overwrite? <laughs> uh, I'm well, clipping that. Yeah, this is, this is one because you have to be careful when you save. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just perfect fucking timing. Okay, let's try it again with less aliens around. Yeah. And then you had an auto save by the elevator. Fuckers in the vents here already. Actually, since we know it's multiple, there's one, it's more than one of them is here. Yeah. Also. Human? Or synthetic? I think. I think this is probably better for the both of us, though not for any future your children you may have had. <laughs> Let's be honest, he's on this station. He is probably going to die in the next five minutes anyways. Yeah. That... Um... I, I know I did not get hit, but even now I feel like... Ugh. That just automatically makes me think of the one Transformers Revenge of the Fallen scene where yeah. the kid tases himself in the nuts. <laughs> restore power. Okay, where do we restore power? At, at least we're not... At least we don't have to deal with the Xenomorph at the moment now. And me walking around like this is probably being an idiot, but... I don't think we really have the time to be too stealthy at the moment. Yeah. At least the aliens aren't like the character Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, you, they don't show up if you say their name too many times. Wasn't there a new movie of that recently? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. It, yeah, there is. And for us, it looked like it could be good. Mm. I mean, a little bit 50 50 for. Let's be honest. Sometimes they do good trailers, sometimes they do trailers that spoil basically the entire movie by showing basically all the scenes around was expecting, wanted to see, except they want to see more. Or they have trailers that are just extremely bad. 
Yeah. Like, one thing or... I can think of is that uh, Kangaroo Jack movie or something, or at least it's called that, but the the quote-unquote titular character is only in it for, like, three minutes, tops. And it's as, as a hallucination as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So basically, the the Slender Man movie problem. Yeah. I remember the Kangaroo Jack movie, but I don't remember all of it. Thankfully, I just remember it was like, what the fuck is this? I have not seen it. I think I've seen another movie with a kangaroo, but uh, yeah, not Bro, that one. I, I think. Bro, I remember Do watching it. I remember. Else? I remember okay. Kangaroo Jack was just terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I remember there has been um, some that you had a movie with a great trailer, but when you finally watched it, it was horrible. Yeah. yeah. Same with reverse. Horrible trailer, but also movie. Yeah. Is there a rewire thing here somewhere that I'm not seeing? Maybe. I'm not seeing a generator of any sorts around. Hmm. There's a tape recorder in there. A part of me really does want to check if anything happens if I shoot those. Hmm. Seriously, what do I do? Do I need to head out again? to try and find a way to reroute power to here. Let's see if that does anything. You know, if it points me back here, which I presume it will, then it's some then I'm missing something there. Yeah. yeah. Objective updated. Oh, okay. Hmm. Also, the, the tooltip said something about aiming your gun at someone. Yeah, though the rest of it was, well, not sure. Like maybe it, maybe it has a chance of intimidating someone to surrender or something. Oh yeah, that sounds kind of like, kind of like what some of the Saints Row games did, where it's like if you just point at a civilian with the aim button, then they'll be like, "Oh shit, surrender." Seriously, what do I need to do here? At least I can do this. Yeah. Yes. Restore power, but where the heck can I even go to restore power? Um. That was probably a bad idea. Hmm. Seriously, where am I supposed to even be able to go here? Or here? No, it requires passwords. But here. Okay, that's here we go. They could have made that more obvious by making this plate a different color compared to the rest of it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> or they could have done like certain items that I've seen where certain objects flash a certain color to be like, hey, you need this. Yeah, it, it does flash when you get near it, though. And since all of it looked the same. Let's see. Uh, code for repair job, 1851. Hey, Myers, my shift's over and I'm clocking off. If you turn up for to repair the system in the next three hours, I won't be here. So the code you need is 1851. Okay. Um, with the guidance of key sticks and you know, executive talent, Sevastopol has become an outpost of progress, a trade hub, a vibrant community, and a beating heart of the Sikhs and synthetic solution. Sevastopol is the main off-planet site for the development, sale, and maintenance of Sikhs and, and the androids. From Sevastopol's unique position in the cosmos, we can ship our range of working Joes wherever they are needed in colonial space within months, not years. 
above and beyond are reliable and cost-effective synthetics. Uh, is Sevastopol's governing AI, Seekson's award-winning Apollo system, through the hard work of our scientists and Seekson's bold investments. The station is now a showcase for economical and self-governing artificial human operations. Even now our sales executives are overseeing the population of Apollo mainframes across colonial space. Uh, great, so there's more of these AIs. Mm -hmm. That's never good. Yeah, and also, Captain, you guys took me and Derby captured someone. Had to power down this facility. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Hey. <laughs> I was like, who's this army guy that joined us? All the supplies and weapons we've taken will come to jack shit. Me and mine are going to sit this out until the rescue comes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for when you started chasing after a ship that will never come. You broke with the plan. Sinclair out. And that sound like Rag just jumped out. Anyways, hi Rom, how are you doing? Doing fine. Outside just of being waiting. captured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome Robert. Yeah, it, it actually looks like me and Derby captured you. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, that's probably going to attract Greg, and uh, yeah, that's the ship we tried to escape on didn't turn out so good, and now the entire station is falling into the freaking gas giants. We're, we're going to be probing Uranus with the entire space station. <laughs> oh, uh, I should probably warn Rom about this. Yeah. Greg has a family. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so what? Family. Yeah, so what I was warning about if there's one scene more that stay too long, it's bad news for that lonely one. We'll turn into green, and I suspect that's what bloody has happened. The <laughs> mother <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> I'm against face hugger. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That was a jump scare for the day. Yep. Even I got jump scared. Okay, plum and wafer. Although I think the stare down with the alien at the save point was worse. <laughs> yeah. I miss her, the captain. What? My brain registered. Uh, uh, I know what you said, but my, my brain registered it wrong. My brain trusted it to Flam and Waffle. <laughs> Why Flam and Waffle, though? A spicy waffle. Enemies nearby. There. Well, that's one spicy face hugger at the moment. Ooh. I think they heard what you did. Oh, jeez. Okay, I thought he was at the other side. I think Greg was angry what you did to Timmy. Burn <laughs> Timmy again. <laughs> Oh, no. Wait, are we gonna call all those tiny ones, Timmy? Apparently we are. You burnt my cousin. I'm gonna kill you. That that would make uh, Christmas Carol quite a different uh, movie if Tiny Tim was a face hugger. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so you can grab, you can burn them just before they grab you because I'm, I, I. I heard that whip noise of them trying to grab, and apparently they didn't. Apparently, Greg didn't care about this specific one. Yeah. Oh. And that was about the most last-second kill I've seen. Also, uh, I've been I've been wanting to say this, but I like that they keep in the little thing with these old recorders that the first few seconds are a bit distorted. Children had gone. Perhaps they can keep these monsters from them. I hope they do. 
Okay, that explains why we haven't found a single kid so far. Yeah. They're all dead or they all left. No, they couldn't leave. That's the whole thing that we are stuck here. Then yeah, they're all dead. Yeah. Ripped apart. Also, seeing as Mevet has left, it seems, uh, yeah, they were just here to advertise for art, I'm guessing. <sighs> yeah, there is a pattern to them nowadays, ain't it? Yeah, it's, they just go, How? hey, I love your stream, even though it's my your for, the first time here. Uh, what's the goal of the game and such? Uh, with, and then asking of how long you've been at it and such. Uh, honestly, let me do this real quick. Just bye bye. Yeah, and I want to see this. Their, that, didn't, that didn't remove their messages from the. Yeah, I'll just refresh it in a sec. Yeah, but Captain, I think you really should do what I recommended you in the past. Put a sign over your head uh, between you and a uh, certain country. Uh, just a sign there, say no advertising Ripley. in chat. Ripley is about to move into position for the auto umbilical dock sequence. We'll be dark on comms until we've matched the decaying orbit of the station and are in position. We're just waiting on you to extend the towing platform clamps. I don't know how you sweet talk me into this. Yeah, just needed a little sign that's like, it should be obvious, but don't advertise here. Yeah. Pre hypersleep health checks have been performed on the entire crew, including, after some persistence from the engineer staff, the ship's cat. Everyone regular, present, and correct. I sat out in the report I've just logged with Mother. I have a little more work to do setting up my equipment and initializing systems, but otherwise, we're ready to go. Okay, not someone I expected to hear from. Bishop? No, the, the android from the Nostromo. Yeah, Bishop. No, that one was... No, the Ash. Prometheus. Ash was the one in... All no, right. Aliens. All right, I mixed up. <laughs> one from... Then Astroma was, uh, was Ash. Yeah, not catch him. Though he did try to catch the Xenomorph, so oh, yeah. catch that specific one. Yeah, about that. I, uh, think, uh, I think Romeo mentioned this uh, some time ago. Apparently right. this month they release a new Ash vs. the Evil Dead. <laughs> yes. Okay. A side-scroller or platformer, you could say, even. Yes. And they could look kind of fun. Okay, I know there was that uh, Dead by Daylight-ish game from them recently, like last year or so. And not too sure how to... Uh, great. I think that one already had to shut down the servers or something. Remember if it shut down the servers or if it's still ongoing, it, they're just not updating it. Yeah, maintenance mode, as it's called. Yeah. yeah. This so one... Really only stuff. Not 3D? Hopefully it goes better. Hopefully. I think one of the problems with it was that it, with certain builds it became too easy to beat the possession or something. Let me check something. Oops, the synthetics. Oh, there. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was a face hugger. And, it's, and then there's just a working Joe somewhere giving me lip or... Wait. You survived? It yes. scared it away, apparently. 
I can tell life support content for the game is stopping, but right now, but as of right now, uh, they have no plans to shut the servers down, so the game is still playable. Okay. Right, that's good. Uh, last stand. Oh, yeah. Men Mendonca, we've rounded up everyone we could find and are camped out in the rug room. The security system we discussed is rigged up, but uh, you won't be able to get in the old way. We got a stranger sneaking in. After a couple of hours, he confessed who let him in, and we threw them both out. We've only got limited space and supplies here, and we've got to control who gets in. If they want in, they've got to bring something to the table. Uh, what you need is the, what you need is in the usual place. I don't want to say here, but you know what I mean. I changed the code to 1984. Use whatever you know, what you will find there. Of course, we'll need to make sure you've got the supplies you promised us. But we'll, <clears throat> but we'll check you upon entrance. I'm sure you've got what we need. After all, I vouch for you. And shut out. Is anyone there? It's Denver. I'm back with the supplies, but I'm locked out and nobody's answering. What happened? Was there an attack? It's getting worse out here. You have to let me back inside now. My wife is in there. She'll tell you who I am. I have the supplies. Someone please answer me. Yeah, sounds like something got in. And, well, actually, since there was yeah, androids in here, that's probably enough of an answer on its own. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is the wreck room, ain't it? Yeah, this yeah. is the quote-unquote sanctuary. Uh, Not much of a sanctuary anymore. The whole place is on fire. I'll be right back, food. Okay. All right. Okie doke. Oh, jeez. Oh, Our friend is back. Apparently, he wants to check his emails. Is this really enough to hide from them? Apparently. <laughs> just the edge of a chair. Apparently, Amanda can just really tuck her, <laughs> tuck herself in. And there's no going that way, so yeah, this way it is. That was like you tried to turn yourself sideways and just be like, I'm part of the chair. <laughs> okay. Now what the heck do we need to do here then? At least we can open this, I presume. Yes. There. Ah, key cards. Okay. <laughs> now, where do we use that? I'd bet either a locker or a door. Okay, I doubt it's for to. It's not. I doubt it's to activate this thing. So I think we need to head back. Yeah. There's just bodies to inspect. Okay. Gotta not make too much noise. Hmm. Now, now I'm actually thinking what they could do to improve the AI for the Xenomorph in the sequel. Like, it's already really freaking smart. It's at least it's tracking you down if you stay in the same space. Yeah. Is it really still pointing me? Or is it trying to point me? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a shame the base isn't equipped with better weapons to fight any of the Xenos, too. Wait, do you have the bolter? <laughs> the nail gun? So probably lure Greg over. Awesome. I found the sound of that, yeah. <laughs> I, I've definitely, yeah, I've, we're definitely missing something. But how do we? How are we supposed to get there? I I can't see any way through in there. We could just be being blind as usual. The only thing, 
that I can think of is to try and move that that cart or the, yeah the, the forklift. Yeah, I'll turn the jumps scare you. Up the fence he goes. There we, there we go. Okay. So it's password guarded, but it also has a key card. <laughs> okay, I should have noticed that. Also, hello, Joe. Goodbye, Joe. That's where was the door? I kind of had a feeling, but I wasn't sure. It, it was just a few bags. They could just trip that over. Yep, cut this open. Uh, I get. I get the feeling it wasn't bags, but rather much heavier cargo. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying you could still trip them over. Yeah, probably too heavy for that specifically. Yeah. And if you're in a rush, chances are it's probably better to just man the forklift. Move them all at once. I don't think we want to wait for any synthetic at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you have to blow the station up, I wonder what kind of core it has to go kaboom. Uh, <laughs> well, we saw what core it has. He blew that up last stream. <laughs> yep. You were there, I was uh, dirty. Ooh, ooh, welcome back, uh, Rom. Welcome back. So the core you're supposed to blow up didn't do good enough. <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't blow it. We uh, purged it, basically emptying out the yeah the fuel. Uh, yeah, the excess I guess energy. to just to basically bug zap the xenomorph nest. Abandoned station. Abandoned station. Air hockey. Key cards. Like... Looks like nobody was dumb enough to be playing air hockey at the time. Oh! I knew I saw something! That's, I didn't even see that until it, it screeched. Where do we get the feeling that that was Sinclair? So much of his little sanctuary, so much for his little sanctuary, huh? Yeah. Ooh, geez. He's like, I see you. That might be a warrior. Is he actually coming to run all the way over? Girls, you know, morphs, remember? <laughs> yeah, there's different, there's different stages. Drones, warriors, and then the specials. And a big queen. Also, I should probably use one of these. It was a um, warrior. It was drone warrior. Um, Praetorians. And then it depends on which thing you're watching. And of course what they... And the alternative queen. Oh! Friend there. Wow! Okay, now he fucks off. Yeah, he might want to just bail. Where are we going? Uh, heading for our original ship. Or at least we're trying to connect it to the station. No ambushers this time.
Derby? I didn't. <laughs> hey, he wasn't on the sensor yet. It doesn't count. <laughs> Open this fucker just, up. You're saying to me it doesn't count oh, that he used it. So we have to reset the generator. That's all the way, but not too far from Sinclair's corpse. Oh, jeez. And they're swarming. No, he out that's... of fuel. I recognize that sound. Which would be the queen. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. If I remember right, that's the queen. Throw like a noisemaker somewhere. It's tracking us. And that's the last of it. Now everything is start. Oh, I, I just realized if we run into a face hugger now, we're screwed. Basically, yeah, you're either screwed or you gotta play quick draw. No hostels nearby, my ass. The game's fucking with you. <laughs> No, it's not. Mm, how good's your shotgun do against the aliens? We can kill it if it's high enough caliber, but uh, no, it does jack shit. Also, I want to point something out that's Ooh. kind of funny. Picks from the second movie, his shotgun is an heirloom from from all the way to Vietnam, and it somehow works better than the futuristic shotgun we've got. <laughs> yeah, but wasn't he also the idiot who rammed the shotgun into an alien's mouth and fired and killed it, but also got showered in the acid? Think he, so. did jam he did jam the shotgun in the alien's mouth, but that was, but it was Hudson who got splashed on the arm. Yeah, yeah just... If you're gonna it was the more because the xenomorph wouldn't let them close the door of the APC. Yeah, but still proves point. Don't shoot an alien with a shotgun point blank. And actually, the only reason I can see the older shotgun working better is if it somehow had a bigger slug. It was one of those uh, double barrel big ones. No, it was a it was an Ithaca pump action. Yeah. So regardless right. of its age, as long as its shell is bigger, then it'll probably do more. Yeah, to my my yeah, to my knowledge, with uh, shotguns, the smaller the number on the gauge is, uh, the bigger the the slug is, because it means that the yeah. uh, the original pellet or whatever you call it has been divided into less uh, sections or divided into less bullets. Yeah. And obviously, a pellet filled shell is not going to be as good as a full. Well, single sh no slug, I think. Yeah. I get the He's on our room. Yeah, that means he has only one path towards us at the moment. If he doesn't duck into the ducts. Which, it's a xenomorph, it probably will. Yeah. I think it's stomping around in the path behind us. There it is. Run, run, run. I 
think you've lost track of me. Maybe you can stun it. I see it out of the corner of my eye. I see a fly out of my eye. Now, motherfucker. I meant stun it in the head. Like, shooting up. Uh, just, just at the last bloody second, huh? Yep. Okay, and how far back is this? We bail far back, not... Yeah, yeah I'll get Still there. Still out of flame sure. fuel. Uh, yeah, we have hmm. a half hour left. And of course, the loading yeah. screen only gave us the most obvious useless tip ever. Uh, I think you it's a temper or anything. Okay. <laughs> he was he was reconsidering his life choices for a moment. Mm -hmm. He's like, are you there? No. Ooh. We already went here. We just need to bail. Yeah. Okay. Or wait. All right, it's already open. I think. I died. Uh, hide. <laughs> can we hide under that? No. There's a whole lot less hiding spots around here. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> that was a foregone conclusion. What were you planning with that? Just. Wave it at him until he fucked off? <laughs> maybe maybe confuse it, make it think that it's there's still fuel in there. Then again the the flame is out, so it can probably tell that we're out of fuel. Yeah. Yeah, and you've used it too much on them to be learned to uh, to jump through the damn flame. Yeah. Yeah. Given the arsenal, it doesn't seem like you don't actually have anything specialized to killing the aliens yet. Well, pretty sure you don't get it at all at any point. But I, su I would not be surprised if the bolt gun may work, but again, the splash well, stone. My thing on the hand, the bolt gun, is it doesn't seem specialized as to aliens. It is, and it's literally a make. It's literally a makeshift things out of dead space. Yeah, the only way that thing could be specialized against aliens is if you could eliminate the charge up and give it a full magazine. If you aim it towards its mouth, it may work, but again, I think it's going to be splash damage. Yeah. I suppose that would be the solution to that. If you were already charging it and you fired it basically at luck, at point blank. Yeah, but again, you do want to shoot it at point blank. Remember, acid blood. Yeah. That's probably the closest I've snuck around them so far. Uh, no, I think you snuck uh, around one much closer than that. Yeah, but that was more an accident if it's getting near me, not the other way around. All right, don't the predators have specialized weapons? It's because they like to hunt these things for sport. Yeah. Well, more like their gear is made so that it doesn't melt with their blood. Yeah. That was one thing Have I did you remember. You haven't fucking seen me yet. I remember that from the first Alien vs Predator movie that I watched. The alien, the predators had specific. No, it's already open. Go. Gear. Oh, so this is Sinclair. Yep. I tried, but I couldn't stop them. They broke through our defenses. There's so much blood on my hands. This is for the rest of the party. For Seek Sinhor. Sebastopol, this is Diane Vermeid of the Torrens. I am attempting to dock on the tow platform below your space flight terminal. We can take survivors. Just 
Okay, that kind of overcuts uh, <laughs> Sinclair's last will, but oh well. Yeah. At least people mm -hmm. were able to read it. Yeah, and I think at this point it's more survivor than survivors yeah. that are getting picked up. Yeah. I'm curious on another thing, timeline-wise, for this. <laughs> Did they have met the Predators yet, or not yet? They probably have unofficially met them. I mean, the first time humanity encountered the Predators was... In the 90s or something? Well, yeah, back the up. first time we oh, saw yeah. it was like 80-something, then in the 90s in LA, but before that was in like... So all the way back here. Uh -huh. yeah, so, what else? so a fluke accident was the first time they met and they didn't even hardly have the technology to compete. Yep. Uh -huh. Basically an underdog uh, situation. I I was thinking of the second Predator movie, I think, not the one with uh, <laughs> with Schwarzenegger. The second one has Danny Glover. I like the Schwarzenegger one better. I like still remember them. what his name was in that movie. Yeah, Dutch. Dutch. <laughs> also, I find it curious that the Predator's heat vision and stuff could be tricked by mud. Yeah, I think someone did an experiment that that may actually not have worked too well. Yeah, the mud didn't actually work for that, for the, when the Mythbusters tried it, but they did find out that a sheet can actually help. <laughs> yeah, they, they were try they were testing security systems with that. <laughs> so yeah. it's basically a cheap a, a cheap Halloween costume, as in <laughs> getting a freaking tablecloth would work, with fooling yeah, a heat that. sensor. Yeah, do Dutch didn't have that. The yeah. character Dutch, not the people. <laughs> that that yeah. would have been that would have been hilarious. Just uh, yeah. seeing the predator. Confused as all hell as this this fucking marine or whatever he was walking around with a sheet over their head. Yeah, uh, I think mod does work. Probably is only it's for more moments. Scent. Yeah. What? I think it's more for scent and such. Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm but, gonna have to look at that episode of that. I think it works. Probably is. The duration is way too short to work practically. Yeah, since yeah. your body will quickly heat it up. Yeah, well, yeah that's, that's the next. problem. And as I do remember too from that scene specifically when Schwarzenegger's character did do that, the Predator could still kind of see facial features it looked like. Yeah. It would have had to look very carefully, but I'm sure it could have distinguished facial features. Yeah. Also, since we're out of flamethrower fuel, I think this is our best we're secondary. Just chucking, we're just chucking molotovs at the guy. Yeah, and otherwise we can drink it as a last thing. <laughs> well, we've drank flight main drinks before. <laughs> Gee, we couldn't tell that the station was falling apart from the very first second we stepped onto this place. A actually, before, since it fucking blew up. Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here! Thank God, I hear you! I need you to extend the dog radio plans quickly. There are two. Should be close by. Oh boy, are you gonna get ambushed during this scene? I get a feeling you are. Speaking of... I'm working, Joe. I, call I thought it. I was done with you, Fox. Yes. I like... No. I didn't see it, but I had a hunch. <laughs> and, uh, okay, why is that locked? Oh, so there's something here. Okay, it's uh, in, the, in a different room. Mid -up. It's a box. Yeah. And so is our visitor, whatever it may be. Which was crawling around right in front of you. Actually, yeah, it might be in the vents below. They haven't actually been in there that... 
They actually haven't been in there at all, I think, so far. I think I maybe we've seen it crawl in there once. Restore power, of course. Where's the generator the here? Both on the table. There's like, looks like there was room to crawl under that table. Don't forget the ID tag. Can we? We can't well this open. Right, right. No, that isn't it. I think the generator is below. Yeah, it's probably in the crawl space. Yeah, maybe the ID tags will help. The one on the table. No, that, oh, yeah. those are collectibles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was with Drakir there. It's like, maybe the ID tags would work. <laughs> okay, where do these freaking cables go? Also, back to the drink. Looks like to the left. Go. A space with enough room for you. The space was. <laughs> the spaceship was held together by duct tape and hope, and now the duct tape's falling apart. <laughs> and now there's rusty bolts. And hope was lost here quite a long time ago. Yeah. Before we even arrived, apparently. <laughs> this one. Okay, at least this is quicker. There. Do we have to power up the other one as well? Probably. Whatever that is must still be in the fence. Behind you. Well. I think it's below you, but. I'm not hearing anything stomping around. Ace Hugger in the fence, maybe? Quickly. That's not, nothing on the scanner that time. Yeah, I think those might just be noises from the place falling apart. The one terminal. There's movement in the distance. Though with how quick we know those fuckers can are, that can be really quickly. Or that can be a fixed real quick. For the love of how many steps are there to this? What's too many. This is supposed to be a room full of people. Yeah, knowing any game like that, it's like, yep, yeah, there's just too many steps. Go hit this button over here. Over there. Then go hit that one over there. Then pull this lever. Yeah, again, more personnel supposed to be here. Where you're supposed to go. Oh dear. I'm fully expecting a freaking face hugger out of nowhere. Yeah, based on all the movement, I'm like, it, there's got to be something like that crawling around. Oh, but why did they switch to the EMP mine? I don't think that's going to give them more than a tickling. <laughs> well, you never know. It might do something. find a spacesuit. Still Big expecting a fuck you face hugger uh... out of nowhere. Oh dear. Uh, whoa, geez. Wait a 
Come, Come on! on. Flamer is out. Okay, that that was just the game cheating. Oh dear gods. <laughs> Yeah, it, it just spawned it out of fucking nowhere there. Yeah, that was like, like game just decided, nope. Oh dear. Uh, and why did it auto switch to the shotgun of all things? I had a Molotov in my hand. I don't know. Oh. It's like here, this is totally gonna work. Fuck. Back to it. Like best I can think of is I accidentally hit the scroll wheel, which can swap between items. Oh yeah. <sighs> Get out. Is this game controller compatible? Probably. Yes. <laughs> there. Wait, you plan to get this uh, during? No, I was just curious. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> no, or you can you. wait for the sequel that's in an early production, which, well, doesn't say too much. Probably uh, writing and stuff still there. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can do it because I don't want to avoid the face huggers and chest bursters. <laughs> I'm glad this one doesn't have any animations past this, the thing jumping on your face, though. Wait, 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 wait. Mother now we're gonna say use a bolt gun. Or we just knock it on the head like that. Yep. I could play Why did it. Uh, Okay. It wanted to play dead and be like, I can grab him if you if, if she waits. Relay, the docking clamps are engaging. Okay, they're by the other control room. Okay, they're by the other control room. Okay, they're by the other control room. Is there anything this way other than deaths? Yeah, no, mm, no fire. supplies. If there's any flame or fuel there, it would have combusted already, probably. I don't think you're lucky. Yeah, I don't think the flaming inferno of death is what you're looking for. Okay, at least that scares it the fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I didn't scare him off. Okay. I was gonna say, to you got making one, but a well. I was gonna say, you got any spares to make a Molotov? <laughs> Nicely healed. Really? You're gonna need another one. Yeah. Uh, oh, great. Not enough. You're missing a sensor for a, for an item that's just insert paper on top light throw. Yeah. So you get one shot. Okay. No one has just realized playing Alien Ice like, There's a save room right there! Relate, there is no uh, this is, is not a dumpster room. Mother f Piss off! I think I can use the maintenance ring instead. This might just be a bad idea. Because now it's probably extra pissed. That's that tastes like you No no you still need to use a console. Yeah, I'm just Motherfucker. There. It's like right there. I was looking around for a sensor for the Molotov. I can at least put those in to make a bit of space. I probably should have been doing that ages ago. Yeah. Live and learn. Or die repeatedly and learn. <laughs> Where's Stompy? There he is. I guess he might have found the Viagra stash because their tail has gotten a lot stiffer. 
Holy fuck. <laughs> but it's its tail was hanging stiffly in the air. This better work. <laughs> That's not the kind of stiffy we need. <laughs> but that's the kind of stiffy we got. That's not right. Just press Q and leave. Also, you're holding the shotgun. That motherfucker. Give me that. Probably the last batch we'll get. And, okay, he is set Ooh. to spawn there. Yeah, he must be set to just, just jump out of a vent. Great. Going down, looks like. Uh, I'm surprised they're staying in here at all, seeing as all the flame. Nah, they're just hunting you. Also, they, also where else are they gonna go? The vents? I have a flamethrower right here. Yeah, time to reload the flamethrower, I think. Flamethrower's already reloaded. Yeah, with like, one shot of whiskey. That's better than nothing. Right there, oh jeez. Okay, he's not looking at you. Okay, that was a 50-50 chance. Wait, am I hearing a sec- There's- There's two of the fuckers. I think that's a sensor. Hopefully. Sensor! You can make another Molotov! <laughs> Jesus, is this a bedroom or some shit? Oh, we- Chuck it in the direction we don't need it to be at. Not where did that here? Where, where the hell did that know. bounce? That bounced all over the fucking place. Hey, close the lid behind you. Or not? Jeez. Where are you going? No, really, where are you going? Hello. Hopefully the right way. Of course, it's the other side. <laughs> Uh, hide along this wall. Of course, that's where the both of them are. The Open, yeah, says the I. Can we just loot that You're guy? holding the flare gun. I could have sworn we looted that corpse earlier. Probably did. He, he has magic pockets. Behind you! Ay, ay, ay. Well, now we know what it looks like when they get you in the vents. Cray. Okay, that's the second jump scare today. And he's too soon in the stream. Oh boy. Okay, question is would I dare to go overtime? This better work. Yeah, with with the next one we can also start on the DLCs then. Yeah. yeah. Alien DLC or Dredge DLC? Alien, Alien DLC. Alright. Oh, this one has a DLC. Cool. Yep, two or like three, three, I think. Four, four, I think. But only two of them are story, I believe. Hmm. Apparently the same fallacy of people not looking up also works on xenomorphs. Yeah, apparently. Kind of surprised at that. Oh boy. 
just pay I'm, right more. I'm kind of used to looking up. I, I, I've taken, I've got a, a habit of looking up. Ooh. Because of fucking birds. Yeah, for me, from birds mm -hmm. and games. Yeah. Okay, uh, I got an idea. Oh? Actually, I've got a bit one of one as well. Noisemaker there. Yeah, we're gonna say throw it on the, that direction so that it doesn't even work to fuck up and just go through there. You're probably also gonna want to make another Molotov. Wait, no, we missed the other side. You know what? Fuck it, let's just leave. I back this just in case, of course. It is that way, yes. We are heading in the right direction. Backwards. Looks like you're good. Any sort of override on this door? We haven't seen any of those overrides in for fucking ever. And then just uh, <laughs> the tense music straight up dies. <laughs> Oh, come the fuck on! Oh, cinematic, of course. At least we know that we didn't die. Yet. Uh... Do I even want to know what's happening? We're on the nest. And yeah, there's an unhatched egg right Our there. A new nest from the looks of it. A very new nest if that can't hold us in. Okay, question is, uh, did we wake up before or after? Because there's still eggs around. I'll risk the flames rather than risk the egg. Yeah. Only flame if they start hatching. Flamethrower fuel was on the table. Up there, yeah, thank you. Might as well roast some eggs. There's a bit more. And uh, more. Oh yeah. Behind you. Two of the little shits. Uh, the eggs must be opening up. That's my guess. Uh, yeah. Let's just get to the oh, nearest man, safe station. Go. No flares. No, there's no flares. We eat like a pig. Because that's totally what those of course sound the, like. The motion tracker's busted. Actually, I've been getting back into Witcher 3 again lately. Or you still need to play that. Yeah, I like it, but I forgot where I was the last time, so I just deleted my saves and just, just restarted. <laughs> the risk of any massive RPG. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure I was stuck on a quest that I couldn't get the solution right for some reason, so I just restarted it. <laughs> Not the time. Out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like you'll make up for the raid, but a bit of a bad moment. <laughs> Just timing. <laughs> if, if this game had fucking Twitch integration, that would have gotten me killed there. But hi, how are you yeah. doing? What were you? Uh, oh yeah, he's got to go to work. <laughs> Good luck, Pika. 
<laughs> yes, rain you and then fucks off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Give you a heart attack. <laughs> At the time, I just scream in surprise if three xenomorphs jump down. What yeah, the it's heck? Like, like, like xenomorph, 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 raid! Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that's another clip. Oh, Holy fuck. God, the heck. <laughs> Made my day. But they were playing League of Legends. Uh, did it actually open? Uh, yeah, that opened. Okay, that. Fr Usually, when I do the clip, it it minimizes the game. Mm. Oh, oh, God, I didn't. Oh, and we have a single fucking break in this game with not something breaking on us. A fucking moment where we're not half dead. It. Yeah, no, speaking of... Sebast no, says Sebastopol Station, you will die here. Oh, those... I think that's a... Well, here, that's a working yard, that's a poster. Yeah. That's that's a my poster entire station is trying to kill you. Oop. Give me fucking all of that. Ammunition. Good lord. Okay, at least like we'll have right. plenty of ammo to put ourselves out of our misery if need be. And thank you for the save game. Uh, Jesus. Whoa! There's a transit system. Just let me make it through here. I agree with you. Right, I don't know I if there's more of those coming through. For, uh, for how long were we out? Oh, I'm gonna say 10 minutes. At once, too long and not long enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Too close. Okay, Amanda doesn't need a haircut anymore. Too close. Yeah. How the hell are there still trains running? It's Jesus. Uh, don't fail. You're not so much running so much as everything's falling apart so much. The uh, oh, tram yeah. system is just falling. Uh, probably going haywire. Here comes one. So the whole I thing's think. just been left running. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that was <laughs> that was scripted. Yep. yep. <laughs> that one was just ready for you. I hope there's not the one hell? in the freaking middle. Out, out, out! I like a bunch of ammo. There's a scene here. It. You're getting close to the end! Oh. There's a scene more. There's a fucking face bugger. I heard it screech. It? Where is it? Behind you. Uh, right yep. Starting to run low Perfect. again. Maybe it's all the fire and stuff, but this area is definitely making my screen lag a little bit more. Not on my end. So it's probably your connection. Yeah, we'd be surprised. I have to climb. Or get on that. Or not. Uh, no, get on. Yeah. Is the elevator supposed to fall away because we can't climb up here? Uh, right the other way. We need to break this. Oh, you need to go down, looks like. If I... Uh, there we go. Okay. That was just being weird for a moment. Uh, a bit late, but uh, hello everyone from the raid. Uh, come on! So now we've had the machine... The machinery Ooh. break on us. Now we probably have a broken leg or something. <laughs> 
And, oh, okay, good. That's not our blood. Like I said, the station is trying to kill us. <laughs> Got that one just in the nick of time. Save, save, save. Yeah, you ran past the safe point. You down. Please Please wait. Fine, whatever. Let's just let's just go. See if yeah, well, we could go a bit over time. But but I, I think this is the final stretch. No freaking leaking on this this time. Nope. Okay, that that was a good subversion since we've had an animation a few times. And always been saved during it. Okay. Now let's just nice get on board and say tell fuck it to this entire goddamn station. <laughs> that's the thing, the toe cable the toes are stuck. Yeah, that that's stuck. Yeah, yeah so we so. need to get it off. And then jump onto the back of the ship and hope to God it doesn't kill us. Hold on for dear life to a ship. Like, yay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're definitely closer to this gas giant. <laughs> and you don't want to be on the quote unquote surface of those since they are basically, well, planetary storms. Yeah. At very high speed. Yeah, I remember watching something that even theorized on Jupiter, and apparently they theorized that the surface is like crazy amounts hotter than the sun. Hotter? Okay, that's a new one. Or it's like the surface might be close to the same temperature, but the further you go to the core, because the core is liquid, it's like some kind of superheated plasma or something like that. Is the one that I watched it theorized. Which would make it technically a sun at that point. Or it, they can be do have a molten core. The aliens can't chase you there. Yeah. I think. They don't need air. I think he meant on the, in a gas giant. I think that would be one of the few places where the bastard things can survive. <laughs> yeah. I hear her Greg say, hold my beer. So they can survive in space, but yet spacing is a great way to get rid of them too. Oh, there. Give me that key card. Use the fucker. Okay, now the other. The left. Uh, don't think Let's we can see. climb on that. So we need to take the long way. Okay, at least smart design to have these things sealed in so they don't they can't be accidentally spaced by a ma random fucking meteorite. <laughs> yeah. Or micrometeor. Okay, now... Uh, five minutes, okay. Okay. We're basically just priming a big... a big series of bullets here, I think. <laughs> Okay, activate that. Yeah, it's either bullets or reactor rods, I'm not really sure. Yeah, they're explosives of a sort. If I remember correctly... <laughs> There's a button in those things. This is the self-destruct for the Nostromo as well. Gee. Ah, so those are what's gonna make the sh entire station 
Go and kaboom. Putting the blasting, the, bl the blasting cap. Push whatever buttons on the inside. Okay. Okay. Four out of four. Let's go. Uh, oh, bad. Uh, oh. Hello there. Uh, quickly. Uh, press the fuck it button. Station. That gas giant kind of does look like Jupiter. <laughs> I think they only come in a few select colors, but I'm no, I'm no planet expert. Verlaine, I'm on yeah. my way up to the bridge. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Now let's get out of this suit and head for the nearest bathroom because I think, I think Amanda needs to take such a shit after this. She's gonna get shit out all of her innards and her soul along with it. Yeah. As well as an incredibly long shower. Okay, back to the start of the game. Berlaine? Yep. Motherfucker! The Ripley's are just fucking cursed, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> Fuck you! Did we die? No, uh, we didn't. Yet. And that is Alien Isolation. No. Oof. Okay, so how how the fuck did it? I I know how to. Oop. That was, must be from the recorder or something. But why do we get the feeling that the one in the fucking lab ended up in there? Like, considering what we had just happened, we tried to blast away those three that were around us. A little bit surprised due to the explosion that some of them got flogged towards the ship. Yeah. True. Or maybe with one of the many debris bits, one of them hitched a ride or whatever. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, hitched a ride and okay. got on the ship. Well, I, I guess we can, <laughs> I guess we can take an educated guess at how this sequel, if they manage to finish it, uh, will start with, well, Amanda being found there. Then the big question becomes, did, was there time for her to become infected or in, infested with a chest burster or not? I think mean, infected would be correct. Or implanted at the, probably the most accurate. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's the main story. We have yeah at least two story DLCs that we'll get to next week then. All right. Cool. All right. I, I will admit I I have seen uh, I have seen one or two playthroughs of this game before, but I of course that was years and years back, so I for, I forgot them. I forgot. The, the exact details of everything, but the general strokes I did remember. But I don't I think I've ever seen anything about the uh, DLCs, so that's going yeah. to be ex completely new. Yeah, uh, the DLCs were unknown to me. I only first seen like one or two episodes before I get distracted by something else. <laughs> also, there, it's just uh, there's a what's the what's the worth. Uh, First mark, mole, whatever. There's one of those on my neck, and there's just this one shitty little hair that manages to grow through it again and again. It's just pissing me off at the moment. But where? On my, on the side of my neck. Ah. Uh, Depending oh, yeah, how yeah. small it is, you could get rid of it by just tying a thin sewing uh, not needle, but a sewing thread around it and carefully tighten it gently every day until it falls off. D depending on how small it is. But yeah, if it's, it's a it's, big one, you should not do that. Yeah, it's, it's the hair that's... The, it's the hair that's growing straight through it that's annoying the shit out of me at the moment. Oh, and just pull it off. Out. Yeah, usually I just clip those with a little bit of scissors. Here's the cast. Kezia Burroughs for Ripley, Likeless and Motion Capture as well. The voice is Andrea Deck, okay. Cyrus Lowe for Ricardo, uh, for Likeness and... The voice is Richie Campbell. Told you okay. it was William Hope. <laughs> so yes, once more, you can say that uh, Gorman was always an asshole. And the Stromo cast as well. I get... I, yeah, Sigourney Weaver, of course, as Ripley. I don't remember hearing voice bits from the others, but there's there's likely voice recorders in areas we could have gone through later. That, there's uh, also the DLCs, uh, correct, and the ball. There's also the DLCs for it, since... Uh, hang on. Since the ones uh, correct, expendable and last survivor take place in the Nostromo. Okay. There we go. Managed to get the hair with a set of tweezers. Yay. I was actually going to recommend that. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, if I remember correctly, there are a few more DLCs that take place in Sevastopol as well. Yeah, as one of them is Survivor. Is the, how long you can survive and such. I think. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah we won't be playing that one at least. Hmm. Then I want to be curious what... what the record for that is. So, okay, so the other one story, story was all uh, in the Nostromo. Hmm. We'll have to see. Also, I just realized something with <laughs> you and Durvin, Ram. It, it looks like Durvin is pulling a nothing personnel on you at the moment. <laughs> personnel? You mean personal? Uh, that's the yeah. the mis the miswording is part of the joke because I think it's a mistranslation. Oh, <laughs> I'll I'll send a clip of it to you. Uh, I'll, speaking of clip with the <laughs> with the one at the safe station, I, I am going to I'm just going to pull that one out <laughs> and just edit it to fuck you know, just to have fun editing it with like the to be continued meme and such. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> it was then he knew he fucked up <laughs> that oh. sort of thing <laughs> <laughs> I love those oh yeah they, they, they rarely go wrong those are the kind of memes that will survive uh, I've seen a lot of those yeah those are always probably fucking funny uh, and now remember that I made a fuck ton of uh, back back when we streamed Sonic Adventure that I made a, f a lot of uh, different sound effects with the with the uh, ending of 
Omega, where the, the Flicky just drops out of the sky for no reason and for a moment. Just <laughs> putting different sounds on that. <laughs> oh, gods. Uh, I, should, I should put those together into a compilation of sorts to just share with people. Yeah, I also kind of like the ones where freaking you hear the Roadrunner sound just as someone gets flicked across the screen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, th this is a really good game. And I look forward to if they manage to uh, make the sequel. Because pre early work games can always be cancelled at basically any point, even days from freaking release. But I do hope that they manage to release Alien Isolation 2, and I look forward to how they manage to continue this. I do yeah. wonder if we'll play as Amanda, or... Actually, this may kind of as a bit of a spoiler, perhaps, but I believe in one of the movies it said uh, one of the ones that takes place, like, decades after this point in the timeline. But I, I believe it's revealed that Amanda at one point died of cancer. So, yeah, yeah. If she isn't, if she is, uh, or if she was implanted with a chest burster, it's going to get removed. Then that, or that's the quote unquote official. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Yes, Raylan Jutani's uh, relationship with the truth is about as abusive as you can be. Yeah. That's yeah. Big also, it looks like I, I have a buffer over my head. <laughs> no, that, that's just your that's just your brain trying to process things. Yeah, I'm trying to process uh, here uh, how to convince Rob to tell me that he's hiding the burgers. <laughs> now I'm reminded of that picture with the cat and the loading circle. <laughs> Where's the burgers, Rom? Where's the burgers? Or would you hide them? Um, I ate them. <laughs> Damn it! But yeah, we'll just let this run, and after we'll go look for someone to raid before we end the stream. Can I prepare get catapults? <laughs> You're free to. Hmm. All right. There's a fair few jumps yes. that got me there. Wait, wait, you want me to load the catapults with jump scares? Brilliant! <laughs> just load Freddy fucking fast bear into a catapult, then just looking, <laughs> is this a good idea? Boom! <laughs> I, I was actually thinking of that. Yeah, just load all the ones we made. Is this a good mm. idea? Probably <laughs> not, but... I guess we'll find out. We're already doing it. <laughs> uh, really, Scott, Geiger, Dan O'Bannon, and Ronald Shusat. Oh yeah, there were more than one writing and designing the aliens, at least story-wise. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, anything post-credits or smash cut the main menu? Main menu, from the looks of it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. That'll be it for today. A bit over, a bit over length, but worth it, I'd say. Oh yeah. Okay. Now let's have a look at who are online for us to raid. Let's have a look. It's probably going to be busy. Yep. Uh, not too busy, so I'll list all of these out. Uh, we have Katie, who is playing the Dark Pictures anthology House of Ashes, one of their good ones, actually. Uh, um, Misa and Aleph re-rated last time, I think. Sapphire Cloud is playing Hades. Still need to get started on the Hades 2 myself. Lazarus 2 is playing East X Nordics. If that is the series I think, you know, I'm think i thinking of, that's a turn-based RPG of sorts, I think. Uh, let me actually check. The, yeah, hmm. That one appeared on my YouTube recommendation today. Uh, not as currently on the status menu, so I can't really tell. Uh, Jimmy McGinger is playing Resident Evil, the remake, okay. Graham the Wolf is playing Content Warning. Invader Tori is playing The Upturns. You wanted to say something, Durvin, or am I accidentally just interrupting you over and over? No. No, we're good. Okay. Uh, Dynalope is playing Lorne's Lure. 
Can't say I know that, so I'll take a peek. Karina is playing Metaphor Refantasio. Atlas is lost in her latest game. Uh, Tuskiliteo is playing Core Keeper with two others. And then last but not least, we have Halloween playing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. <laughs> Leave it to the what? one named Halloween to play the least spooky one. Oh, <laughs> bloody heck. But I feel like we can actually pick the first one you mentioned for they were playing. What were they playing again, the first one? A Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes. Yeah, that's what it seems rather fitting, since Spooktuber. Okay, Sounds let's go good jump good. scare them. I'll see you guys later. Hey, oh, see, you man. see you next Have time, Ron. And thank you for being here. No problem. Slash raid and paste. Um, yeah, before we start the raid, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pika. Thank you everyone who came along with Pika. And I, some names, yeah, some names are nice in chat. Uh, Sensei and Jess and Knight have both been lurking there. Hello, the three of you. And yeah, uh, any names I don't recognize here, I will, I will compare it to a list of known bots. I don't think bots can join along with raids anymore, uh, though I'm not entirely sure of that. So yeah, sorry if you are not a bot, but it's just well, it's just. <laughs> It's just for safety and such, because I'd rather not see an entire list filled with bots. Uh, uh, last year, I don't know if I told this at any point, but last year, I'm a mod for another streamer called Beanie Undead. And yeah, at one point, I started to compare the names in the chat with uh, a list of known bots, and it was like fucking 20. So oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> housekeeping. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you as well, Durvin, and thank you as always for here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining and watching this madness. And yeah, you're welcome indeed. Uh, Sunday, we will continue with The Dark Side Detective 2, A Fumble in the Dark, maybe even on Saturday. I'm putting yeah. it on a 50-50 at the moment, because this weekend, and with my new schedule, I only have two free days in a row every two weeks, so I may just take it as a rest day, or maybe a shorter stream instead. We'll see. Yeah, and it's uh, also the Saturday is also our attempt of multiplayer day. Yeah, attempt. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, at the very least, Sunday. But for now, uh, let's get it right started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Sleep, sleep well, everyone, and watch out for Xenomorphic, uh, Xenomorphic Undead Seagull. What the heck? That's a horrible blend. Uh, <laughs> and any other creatures. Until next time, people, I don't, I cannot top that misspeak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye.